With his big picture intellect and homespun charm, Canadian banking titan and civil servant Ed Clark has single-handedly redefined our standards of corporate leadership. The values that would come to inspire him were instilled at a young age. My dad, he was founded the Department of Sociology, University of Toronto, and hired great people. And I, in fact, he hired people and paid them more than he got paid. And I can remember saying to him, Dad, why would you do that? And he said, look, at all you want to do in life is hire people that are smarter than you, and you will look good. Ed received a doctorate in economics from Harvard. And after nearly a decade of civil service in Ottawa, he transitioned into the financial sector. His first job was at Merrill Lynch. Just three years later, he was appointed chairman and CEO of Morgan Financial, his first real test of leadership. You have to have the courage to say, yeah, but I'm gonna make the right decision for the bank and the right decision for the bank for 20 years from now as well as two years from now. Ed's big picture thinking soon helped him land the job of CEO of Canada Trust Financial Services. And it's here that he began to make an impact that would forever change the landscape of Canadian banking. The idea, put the customer first. We had a very simple proposition. Banks traditionally, it started with the bank and come out and say, here's what I'm prepared to do for you. We said, why don't we just reverse it? Why don't we ask, what would you like us to do for you? And why don't we bring that into the organization? On December 20th, 2002, Ed Clark took his customer first approach to TD where as CEO, he led his 85,000 employees to eight consecutive J.D. Power Awards for the highest customer service among all major banks. During his 11 years at TD, Clark oversaw an unprecedented period of expansion and growth for the bank, tripling their assets and successfully opening 1,300 branches in the United States. Ed Clark is the kind of individual that when you're in a room listening to him, you can't help but feel you're in the presence of greatness. And yet he has this wonderful way of making you believe that he's in the presence of greatness. And that's quite a leader. In 2014, Ed left the private sector to return to civil service, answering a call from the Ontario government. Ed really understands government. He understands the imperatives and the pressures on politicians. And at the same time, he understands how government is perceived by the business world and vice versa. And so he walks a very interesting line between the two. He's got a, a, a real interest in public policy and a real desire to see Canada be a better place. And he's got lots of ideas about how that could happen. Appointed by Premier Wynne to the chair of the Premier's Advisory Council on Government Assets, Ed negotiated major policy changes to the province's liquor laws and oversaw the partial privatization of Hydro One. I think people trust him to be honest with them and straight up and come to a resolution that's fair. Ed Clark received AFP's Outstanding Philanthropist Award for his work with the United Way, Habitat for Humanity, and Ontario's LGBT communities. Ed is constantly connected to his community and is a man who is always looking out and saying, what are the needs and how can I help? He always talks about his pride of being Canadian and what living in Canada has enabled him to do. And he doesn't just give money, he gives his time. I don't think I've met many people who are as clear about giving back and as eager to find a way to give back to the society that's been good to him as Ed Clark. He brings his whole humanity to the table. My mother, she'd say, whatever gifts you have, you've got to use those gifts to make the world better off, not you better off. And that is Ed Clark. Please welcome Edmund Clark. 2016 inductee as companion to the Order of the Canadian Business Hall of Fame.